Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this video, we're gonna have some real fun as we get to solve this nice algebra word problem. Uh, let me go ahead and read you the problem. It says, Kim walks at an average speed of three miles per hour. How many minutes will it take her to walk six miles? So hopefully uh, this isn't a too difficult of a problem for you to solve. Um, and of course, I did say I'm going to be using algebra, but you know, however you think you can figure this out, that's perfectly fine. Feel free to use a calculator. But uh, if you can solve this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second. Then we're going to, of course, walk through the solution uh, step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, uh, one more time for the problems. We have Kim, she walks at an average speed of three miles per hour. How many minutes will it take her to walk six miles? So we're looking for, this is the actual question here, right? So how many minutes will it take her to walk this distance at this particular speed? Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The answer is 120 minutes. Okay, so again, um, this uh, problem hopefully wasn't too difficult. Now, if you didn't get this right, you know, I'm certainly not trying to make you feel bad. Uh, so you're gonna wanna watch the rest of this video. But if you got a different answer and you're like, no, I'm convinced it's another answer, well, uh, stick around because you may have made this common error. But if you got this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, you definitely earned a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you understand this basic formula uh, called rate times times equal to distance. Okay, because this is what we call a rate time distance problem. Very, very, very common type of problem in uh, algebra word problems. Okay, and in science, you definitely need to understand this formula as this is uh, the relationship that we need to understand to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and get into this. So again, here's the problem. And this problem is dealing with what? Well, it's dealing with speed, okay, or rate. Uh, so we got three miles an hour. Um, it's asking for how many minutes and we're, we have distance involved, right? So we have distance here. This is speed and we're looking for time. Okay, so how can we relate speed or rate and time and distance. Well, luckily there is an awesome formula and one that you're definitely gonna wanna commit to your long-term memory. And here it is. It's rate times distance is equal to, I'm sorry, rate times time is equal to distance. Okay, so rate times time is equal to distance. And I, of course you can just kind of uh, write it this way, RT is equal to D. All right, but let's go ahead and kind of um, you know, I get some uh, specific detail about how to use this formula because this again is uh, could be a um, error, a, a place where you made uh, may have made an error, and that has to deal with units of measure. So let's just talk first of all about rate. So what is rate? Well, rate is uh, your speed. Okay, it's your velocity. So if you hear uh, words like the velocity of the rocket or the speed of the train or the, you know, the rate of the car. So rate, speed, velocity are basically synonymous. And uh, let's uh, take this particular um, problem that we're dealing with. Our rate is in miles per hour. Okay, so, you know, if you're watching this video in the United States, uh, you know, we use uh, miles per hour. If you're um, in Europe, for example, it's uh, what kilometers per hour, I believe. So, uh, but anyways, this is our unit of measure for speed for vehicles. Okay, now, uh, uh, speed, again, is the same thing as rate, and miles per hour means what? Miles per. When you have this little P right here, that uh, is indicating a division uh, sign. This is actually what we call a technical rate in mathematics. Okay, A rate is a, uh, a fraction where the units of measure between the numerator and denominator are different, so miles per hour. Okay? All right, so we're dealing with miles per as our unit of measure for distance and hour as a unit of measure of time. So if we're going to do a problem and we're given our rate or in our uh, uh, speed and, for example, miles per hour, well, then our time, uh, if we do any calculations, 
needs to be in hours, okay? So miles per hour. So our time measurement is in hours and our distance measurement has to be in miles. Now, if you um, don't have all these same units lined up like this, okay, so my, uh, in other words, if they're not equal, um, uh, then you're gonna have to do some conversion, right? So if your rate's in miles per hour, then your time has to be in hours and your distance has to be in miles, but you can easily convert. Um, in, in this particular question, we're looking for how many minutes, not hours, but we can easily go from um, from hours to minutes just by multiplying by 60, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. But the main point here is that when you're using this formula or any other uh, formula, you need to be really, really sensitive and aware of uh, what units of measure um, you are dealing with. Okay, so let's just do one more quick example here so you understand this. Let's suppose... Um, uh, I gave you the rate in meters per second, all right? So let's say a, uh, I don't know, a, uh, a cannonball is going 300, that's pretty quick, meters per second, okay? So what would our time be, right? Our time would be in seconds and our distance would be in meters, right? Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. Now let's move on to the actual problem. Okay, so Kim walks at an average speed of three miles per hour. How many minutes will it take uh, for her to um, walk six miles? Now, we are dealing with the word problem, and one thing I failed to mention is um, uh, anytime you're, de you're dealing with any math word problem or an algebra word problem, you want to read it at least three times. So don't just read it and then start doing stuff. You know, read it once, get a sense of what's going on, read it again, get some more details, and then the third time, really make sure you understand uh, the question being asked. We're looking for how, uh, how many minutes, how much time, right, did it take for Kim walking at a, a rate of three miles per hour to cover six miles. But uh, in order to, to solve this, we need to obviously understand rate times time is equal to distance formula. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just start identifying what we have here. So her rate is three miles per hour. Uh, the distance she walked is six miles, and we're looking for how much time it took her to walk six miles going at three miles per hour, and we want our answer expressed in minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and just plug this into the formula that we already know. Rate times time is equal to distance. So we have uh, Kim's rate in uh, miles per hour. Okay, we have her distance in miles. So we can uh, solve for time here, but our answer is going to be in hours. Okay, so that's what we have to do first. Uh, so let's get the, uh, the correct answer in hours, and then we'll um, convert hours to minutes. All right, so now once you understand this formula, you don't have to write out rate times time, the actual words. You can just use this R times T is equal to D. So uh, her rate, Kim's rate, is 3. Okay, we're looking to solve for T, which is time, is equal to 6, which is distance, right? Rate times time is equal to distance. So 3T is equal to 6. So let's solve for T. So how do we do that? Pretty easy. All we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 3. And we're going to get the uh, time is equal to 6 divided by 3, which is, of course, uh, 2. Okay, so that is the answer. Now, if you said, if you answered 2, okay, you were close, but... That is in hours, okay? It took her two hours to walk six miles going three miles per hour, okay? But remember, the question is asking how many minutes. So in order to uh, uh, convert from hours to minutes, one um, hour is equal to 60 minutes. So all we need to do is take our hours, multiply it by 60. So two times 60 is 120 minutes. Okay, so I kind of took some extra time to explain uh, this, you know, really, really um, critically important formula. You're going to see this over and over again in um, math and in science. So this is one of these formulas that you want to uh, kind of commit to your long-term memory. Now, if you need help with algebra, algebra word problems, I have a ton of uh, different word problem examples on my site. But remember... Uh, word problems, math word problems, or algebra word problems are nothing more than an application of the skills that you should already be developing in your math class. So before you start tackling word problems, you're like, oh, I'm going to do a bunch of word problems. 
make sure you have the underlying math skills. And oftentimes, students don't have those, uh, you know, skills, whether, you know, be solving equations or whatnot, okay, because there's all different sorts of word problems, you know, uh, uh, dep depending on what topic you're studying. So in other words, if you're studying quadratic equations, you're going to have quadratic equation word problems or systems of equations, system word problems, et cetera, et cetera. So if you need help with anything algebra or any math, uh, I'm going to leave uh, links to my direct uh, math courses in the description as well. But hopefully this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.